Hello everyone, today we're going to do some finger knitting. So you need to grab your favorite ball of yarn and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to decide when you're finger knitting is which hand is your normal writing hand. I am a right-handed person, so I'm going to take that off the table. We're going to knit on the hand that is not your normal writing hand. Um, so that's for me, that's my left hand. Whichever hand that is for you, that's what you're going to use for your knitting. Okay, so taking the ball of yarn, find the end of it and pull out a small amount. About that much ought to do for now. Okay, we're going to take this end of the yarn and we're going to anchor it to your thumb of your non-writing hand. Like I said, for me, that's my left. So I'm just going to wrap it around my thumb three or four times just to get it there so it's not going to move. All right, once you've got that, let that little string go and it can just hang there for the time being. For the rest of it, we're going to use the yarn that's attached to the ball over here. So the first thing you're going to do is take your yarn and we're going to weave it in and out of your fingers. So the first one I'm going to put over my first finger, under my middle finger, over my ring finger, and under my pinky. All right. Once you've got that, we're going to do the opposite going back the other direction. Take the yarn. It just went under my pinky, so now it's got to go over my pinky. So we go over, under my ring finger, over my middle finger, under my forefinger, and I'm just going to rest that yarn there on my thumb. So what I should be looking at now, what you should be looking at now, is one string woven in between each of your fingers. Right? If you have this, fantastic. If you don't, Rewind the video, try again. Okay, I'm gonna pull out a little bit more yarn. I'm gonna do the same thing again. What you wanna really focus on now is having your fingers spread wide, because if you weave them really tightly together like this, it's gonna be really hard to do the knitting part. So keep those fingers spread wide. Grab that long yarn from your resting thumb. Okay, it just went under my forefinger, so now it needs to go over. Remember the opposite of whether, what just happened. So now it's over my forefinger, under my middle, over my ring, under my pinky. Now I gotta do the same thing going backwards, keeping it nice and loose, no, tiding, no tight together. All right, and we're gonna do the opposite now. So it's coming under my pinky, now it needs to go over my pinky, under my ring finger, over my middle, under my forefinger, and again, just rest it on your thumb. What you're looking at now should be two strings on every finger. If you've got your setup this way, you're ready to knit. From here, we're going to take the bottom string, the one closest to the palm of your hand, lift it up, pull it over the top string, and wiggle your finger out from under it. And you're going to do that for every finger. For your ring finger, for your middle finger, and for your forefinger. All right. Now we're back to getting set up again because we only have one string left on each finger. So taking that long piece of yarn off your resting thumb, wrap it, just went under your forefinger, so we gotta put it again over top, under the middle, over the forefinger, our ring finger, under the pinky finger, and back again, over pinky, under ring, over middle, under four, rest it on your thumb. All right, we're back to having two on each finger, that means we're ready to knit. Go ahead, pull the bottom over the top, wiggle your finger out. And you're back in business. As you keep knitting, you're gonna notice these strings start wiggling up to the f uh, top of your uh, finger. So you wanna pull them down closer to your palm every time you see them doing that. Take the resting yarn off of your thumb do it again. It's coming from underneath the forefinger, so we got to do the opposite. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Rest it on your thumb. Do your knitting. Pull it down towards your palm. Grab it from your resting thumb. Here we go again. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, rest it on your thumb. I'm starting to notice my yarn's getting tight when I'm trying to pull it off, so I'm gonna pull some more yarn off of the ball of yarn. All right, and 
I'm good to knit again. Here we go. Wiggle out those fingers. Top over bottom, wiggle out your fingers and keep going. Pull it off of your resting thumb, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, rest, knit. Pull them down. Set up again, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, rest. Knit. Pull it down. Do it again. Set it up. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, rest. Knit. Pull it down. Okay, so what you're going to be looking at is a knit that looks about like this. And the more you do it, the longer it's going to get. Once it's a, approximately, I'd say, down to about the level of the bottom of your hand here, you can go ahead and unwind this string from your thumb and just let that dangle. And that might be a little bit easier for you because that's not going to go anywhere. You can go ahead and let it do that. All right, and then you'll just have nothing on your thumb here. And it, it gets longer. As it gets longer, that might be the easier thing to do. But you just continue as always. Over under, over, under, over, under, over, under, Ooh, too tight, pull some more yarn out, rest it on my thumb, and knit. Pull it down, and keep continuing on. Take the whole thing, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, rest it on my thumb, and knit. and pull it down. All right. Once the knitting is at the length that you want, the way to finish it is to take the piece of yarn and grab a pair of scissors. Just trim off a little piece there. You're gonna take this extra now and you're going to weave it underneath. So I'm just gonna lift up this piece, pull that yarn through, there's one. I can take it off my finger. Now do it again. Go underneath there and pull it through and off my finger. And one more time. Lift it up. Pull it through underneath. Last time. Weave it underneath. Pull it through and off my finger. And that is how you do finger knitting. Thanks for showing up today. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.